This is way too stressful. Please kill. They ask you how you are, and you just have to. <laughs> ah! Yo! 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 <laughs> We're not done yet, boy! We're not done yet! I thought he was gonna die. Seven point eight out of ten. Too much hair. Too much hair, my dudes. I <laughs> I gotta get a haircut soon. Usually, I like to get my haircuts around the point when it becomes like not manageable anymore because like right now I feel like it's getting to the point to where it's creeping up in my face you know and it's just becoming way too heavy for me to secure it entirely behind my beanie but anyways what is up guys welcome to episode one of the Pokemon my controller shut off hold up there we go. Welcome to episode one of the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. We are here. It is time. My dudes are going to be selecting our starters, getting officially ready and started and, and playing this game. I'm super excited. If you guys are excited as well, make sure to go and hit that like button, of course. I'd really, really, really freaking appreciate it. And speaking of me uh, appreciating things, you guys killed episode zero of this series. Like, it was absolutely ridiculous. You guys came through. There was, like, over 700-something comments on that episode. Which, by the way, if you guys did miss that episode, go ahead and link it down below. That was probably... Uh, that was probably uh, one of the best starts to a series I think we've ever had. It was just such a great episode. I'm super proud of how that episode turned out. And uh, you guys just came through, as I said, and just destroyed it. But anyways, in that episode, we got, like, introduced to, like, the story and characters and stuff. And as I said today, we're going to be choosing our starter, moving on ahead... And I'm uh, making some actual physical progress in this game. But before we do that, let me just go ahead and talk about, like, one or two things. Actually, just one thing. I corrected myself there. The one thing that I want to go ahead and discuss with you guys, unless I end up remembering something later down the line. But the one main thing that I want to go ahead and discuss right now is, I'm sorry, okay? I know I, like, began episode zero with, like, yo, it's not going to be like Pokemon Y. It's going to be super consistent. Like, if here is Y's consistency... Right? Uranium consistency was gonna be like all the way up here. And that was six days ago. <laughs> At the time of recording this. <laughs> so, that was more or less a week ago. I'm sorry for the delay on this episode, and I promise there's a good reason for it. Your boy got sick. Like, your boy was basically a sack of potatoes. Basically just a lone brick in his bed. For s four days. At least four days. Maybe five days. Like four and a half days. But yeah, no, I was totally useless. I was literally a sack of potatoes. And I'm so sorry. Like, I know it sucks. I know, of, co of course, of course I'd get sick right when I start a new series. But you know what? That's besides the point. We're here. We're ready to go. We're going to be taking this trainer aptitude test. In case you guys don't know what this test is and what's going on, basically you choose your starter based on this test. But there is a way to kind of actually, you know, choose your starter in the more traditional sense. You can choose specific answers to ensure that you get the starter that you want. In case you guys forgot the three starter choices that we have, we have Raptorch, Orchinx, and Electux as our three options. And actually, I didn't know their typings in episode zero. I didn't find out until after I was editing the episode. But Raptorch is a fire and ground type. Orchinx is a grass and steel type. And Electux is a water and electric type. So all three are freaking amazing, and I would have absolutely loved any of them. But, of course, there is a clear winner. You guys voted down below in the comment section. The votes are in. And without further ado, drum roll, please! <laughs> Round two! <laughs> that was actually really bad, considering I used to be a drummer. Let me just go ahead, do that again. All right, I can do better, I swear. I, I, I learned something through my many years of percussion. Okay, not really. Third place, we had Orchinx. Or Orchinx, I really uh, do not know how to pronounce it. I might have pronounced it right in the episode zero. I honestly can't remember. With 97 votes. So Orchinx, super cool Pokemon. Grass and Steel type. I would have absolutely loved, loved to have one. And I heard from my boy Dylan, United Gamer. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Uh, he actually said that the evolution of Orchinx represents or is a kind of a reference to alchemy. In some sense of the of the of the way, basically he told me to name it Edward, 
if that Pokemon got chosen. In case, guys, in case you guys don't know, Edward is the name of the main protagonist from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and just Full Metal Alchemist in general. My favorite anime, 100%. Absolutely love that show. Uh, so I think Orchinx naming it Edward would have been super cool, but obviously that wasn't what won. It wasn't what you guys wanted, which I'm totally cool with because the other ones are super dope as well. In second place, we have... Raptorch with 139 votes. So Raptorch, super awesome Pokemon. I would have loved to see a Raptorch uh, in this playthrough, but unfortunately, by process of elimination, you guys can figure out what starter we're going to be going with, and that's going to be the Electux. And Electux actually kind of destroyed the other two in terms of votes, which is actually a little bit ridiculous because while looking at the comment section, I couldn't really tell. Like, everything seemed sort of equal, to be honest. But Electux had 324 votes. So you guys absolutely killed it. And for some reason, I I went through this a little bit before uh, in, a, in a little bit of a test recording. And what, like, they, it just, it, they, what? Like, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't actually show you the cursor. So I was really confused at first, to say the least. But I think if we just go down twice... It'll select the blue option. Now, in case you guys didn't catch on, if you choose all the blue options, you're going to get the blue starter. The blue starter. The water type starter, obviously. Uh, if you choose red, you're getting fire. If you choose green, you're getting grass. So, basically, as long as we choose the water answers, we're going to get Electux. And um, we should be good to go. So, even though they do this test, um, and you could go through and answer it truthfully if you really wanted to, you could intentionally get the starter you really wanted, which is kind of cool. So, Hidden Power, all day, every day. I am a big fan of Hidden Power. I I have it on my wall. I hung the TM. Like, you guys know how people hang the um, the vinyl records? Yeah, I hung, I hung Hidden Power on my wall. <laughs> hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? I forgot his voice. I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? I feel like this guy's struggling a little bit. Which of the following Pokemon will win in an all-out battle? Obviously, Ampharos, man. Obviously, Ampharos. I, I honestly, though, I, I don't know. <laughs> I do love Ampharos. Uh, I'll give it that. No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motive? I want Electux. That's what I want. <laughs> And nobody's gonna stand in my way. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping to the dialogue. Ha, ah, I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Ellipses. Okay, I finished my analysis. That was quick. Cool, dude. Now give me my Electuck. Yo, look at this man. Look at him. He's so beautiful. Ah. I'm actually really excited for Electux. I have no idea what these things evolve into. Uh, when I was grabbing the sprites off of the wiki for Uranium, I, I did not look at anything else. Like, I'm trying to go into this as blind as I possibly can. So when I was grabbing the sprites for these starters, like, for the thumbnail and stuff, I literally had, like, one hand over my eye scrolling through, trying to, like, blink every second, just trying to miss as much as I could. But, um, no, yeah, in, in, in truth, though, or uh, if I'm being honest, I really do not know what these things evolve into. Uh, even though I was glancing at the wiki. Um, so yeah. He's going to be a trainer that is capable of many different strategies. You prefer to adapt to overcome challenges in your path. Your philosophy is probably just go with the flow. Sounds like a water type to me. Your calm, rational approach will come to aid you in your future. For a balanced trainer like you. Woo! Electux is the best pick. I, I agree. And you guys seem to think so too. Heck yeah. Now the question is, what do we name this thing? Go ahead and take it, asteroid. You bet I will. You bet I will. You bet I will. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Another question is, what do we name this thing? A uh, nickname. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> give a nickname. I know, toughest quest. Oh my god, what the? Okay, um, we're getting a lot of Fs. <laughs> I think I think it has to do with my controller. Hang on, let me go ahead and turn it off. Is that is that there we go? That, that it's still are, are, are you kidding me? Are, are you are we just gonna have an F F F? Come on, man. It literally will not let me Bro, come on. Come on, uranium. I don't <laughs> I don't wanna name him F F F F F. You see, I thought it was my new controller at first because 
I got a wireless controller now, uh, and it's super cool, but I don't think that's the problem here. It literally will not let me... Okay. Okay. Are we just naming it F? <laughs> Yo, actually... <laughs> Actually, that could be kind of a meme. That could be kind of, you know what? I, look, I'm just gonna hope there's a, I, I, I didn't have any better names. <laughs> I didn't have any better names for it. Okay, you know what? I'm actually not even that mad about it, um, because there probably is a a, a, a name, a name changer, a name name relearner. What was the name of it? A na name changer, whatever, nickname changer in the game. I'm sure there's one of those guys. And also, this kind of throws me back because I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but my very first Pokemon was a Charmander. And because I didn't understand how the nickname system worked back in Leaf Green, I literally just named him A A A A A A A A A. And I went through the entire game of Leaf Green with a Charizard just named Ah. So this is actually kind of nostalgic in a way. Uh, so you know what? I'll take it. Ashley got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. I like how we got to pick first. I feel sorry for the kid, to be honest. <laughs> what if he wanted an Electux? What if what if he came out of the womb like, like, I want an Electux? What if his first word was Electux? Then what? Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. Okay, so question. Question. Is, is it like normal Pokemon games where he's going to get like an Orchinx? Or because he's impulsive, impatient, and, and he cares about his own desires, is that going to lead him towards Raptorch? Because I feel like that'd be the most appropriate starter for him. And then also, if that's what it leads him towards, does he just always get a Raptorch? I don't know. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely. Oh. Okay, okay. So yeah, no, he's going to get Orchinx. For a trainer like you, oh, never mind. So wait, this this brings me back around because Raptor seems like the perfect match for him. So does he always get Raptor regardless of what you pick? But then again, if you pick a Raptor, then how is he getting the Raptor? Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Yes, my first Pokemon. What happened? Oh, he just grabbed it. Astrid, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. Wow, we got a genius over here. You know what this means, right? We have to battle! I'm sure Lock Boy. <laughs> oh please, not in the lab! Wow. Wow, Theo, come here! But I catch this whooping boy! Yo, look at this man! Look at this! I honestly it's kinda crazy how he's like a little kid, like. It's not even like he just seems so young. He literally looks like a five-year-old, to be honest. He's on a rap torch. Yo, this is our first glimpse at battles in this game. Bro. 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 He's about to save the day. It's, wait, how do we pronounce his name? Is it going to be f or is it going to be f f f I think it should be f f I think that's, yep, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So looking at our moves, we have tackle, t I'm loving this UI. Tackle, tail whip, water gun, and that's it. Well, I mean, this man is four times weak to water, so let's just go ahead and body him real quick. He goes for ember. Ooh! Oh, oh and the health bar is like the entire wide bar. Like, it's not like a little slim bar. That's kind of cool. Yo, we just one-shot this man. <laughs> Get absolutely annihilated. Get absolutely annihilated. Like, you were at about a 10. I just brought you down to about a 3. Man, that was almost too easy. What? But, but I was supposed to win! I like how he's standing off his circle now. Get back on that circle, boy. But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever! You literally just got a... I feel like I'm going to lose patience with this kid very quick. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I sniff. Wah. You know, he's literally a kid. Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll hear your Pokemon for you. Wow, you're so kind. Your Pokemon were healed. Oh, thank you. Man, look, look at this man being so considerate. So considerate. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. I'm unbeatable. Pokemon! How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and asteroids, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire. Fire beats grass. And grass beats water. 
Yay! That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way! I want a do-over! How come Ashley gets the better starter? Bro, scoop up that Orchinx real quick and let's have a go. Let's have another go. I'll show you. Type advantages don't mean anything. It isn't fair! I'm going home! Dude, this man actually just rage quit on us. That That's actually kind of depressing. Sorry, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's just a kid after all. Dude, he's literally five. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon is as easy as he imagined. I, honestly, honestly, I really want to see, like, some massive character development for Theo. Like, I want to see this man late game, like, as an adult. Like, this man literally grew up, and he has, like, a full team of just... Power. That's what I want to see. I'm going out to the edge of the Rue 1 by the end of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Asteroid. Alright, so now we gotta go to Theo's house, scoop this man up, force him out of his room, shove him into the wild grass, and teach him how to be a man. <laughs> gotta teach this man how to, how to be a man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? What is that? What is that? What is that? That looks like a cool Pokemon. What's up? Professor Bamboo is a lab in the house on the cliff. Oh, we already read the dialogue. I remember. We went through and read all this. Okay, now we gotta find, um... This is our house. No, it's not. Well, it's certainly not Theo's house. Alright, I just gotta break into every single house in this town to find Theo. Theo! We just, like, put a neon, uh, put a neon sign on our head. And walk around with, like, it just says Theo. Oh, hey. Wow, like, father, like, son, am I right? What's up? What'd you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. Uh, I saw if he did anything to hurt him, bro. Bro, this man's about to pull up. <laughs> bro, I, I didn't do anything, man. He just, I just, I just, I just destroyed his hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter and he beat him in a battle. Hmm, I see. That explains it. I mean, I wouldn't say the weaker starter. I mean, it's just... A harsh lesson to be sure, but losing is as much as being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. I do I do feel sorry for him, though. Still crying will solve anything, that's something he has to learn. <gasps> Theo, come downstairs right now! <laughs> Young man! Bro, this man is father of the year. <gasps> oh my god. Bro! Bro, the guy in the lab, the, the guy, the guy, oh my god, oh my god, I just had an epiphany, the guy that was in the original cutscene, that was Theo's dad, oh my god, my, my throat's killing me, but no, there was, there, this guy, I recognize him, I was talking about him in the, in the uh, episode zero, I was like, yo, his design is way too unique, he can't die, that's literally Theo's dad. I didn't even, I, wow, it took me a second. That took me a second. Damn. Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. I actually got the better starter in me, and I'm never going to win. Wow, what, what a, what a sore loser. I have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, well, so they're kind of using this feud as also a lesson for us. That's kind of cool. It's at least a lot more creative than just straight up telling us, you know. Even at disadvantage, there's no sense of giving up before you even begin. Sniff, yes, Dad. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Yeah, Theo! Start working out! Be a man! Ashley, please be patient with my son, no. He looks up to you, no, no. <laughs> I have no tolerance for your son. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I nearly forgot, Ashley. Theo, I have something for both of you. Is it ice cream? I'm kind of hungry right now. Like a present? Oh, wrong voice. Yeah, exactly. Ashley, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both and you began your journeys. Ooh. I'm sure it will come in useful. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Received what? A Pokepod? What's that? It's a high-tech device. <laughs> wrong voice. Indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a... Plays music? Because a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with... Oh, this is Harkos and Silver. And other trainers. Oh, God. I... 
I am not adding youngster Joey's phone number. All right? I'm going to swerve him. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to curve that man. I do not want this man calling me. Got the red one. It's cooler than yours. Okay. You know what, Theo? You might have won the battle. But I'm going to win the war, boy. Be the first day to catch a Pokemon. Buy that Cuba Bastard. I actually am, like, really excited to, like, catch some Pokemon. Because I don't know any of the Pokemon in this game. Crazy. Let's talk about dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Well, that's reassuring. Astro, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving, too. I want to see you, Theo, for some time. Start his new job suit. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant. Oh. Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. I draw this last place to see you has ever seen. Bro. So they're building a new power plant. Right over the old one. Best of luck in your journey, Astro. Why, why do you gotta bring up my dead mom like that, dude? <laughs> He's like, oh, you know the power plant? Where your mom was last seen? Yeah. We're building another one on top of it. Where your mom was last seen. Go have fun! <sighs> hey there, Asteroid. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a field research aide. Now watch closely. Oh, man. Wild well, Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You could also find them in caves and water and cities even know where to look. Still, it's all grass is going to be your best bet. Find a new Pokemon. Zip would take a few steps in and... Ooh! Look, it's a wild Chin... Chin Monk. Chin Monk? Chin... 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 Wow. I can speak English, I swear. <laughs> Chin Monk! They're very common around here. That hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Yo, grab him by the back! Gorchinx! This little guy was the other star of Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taking a shine to me. So wait, they're not going to show us the battle? They're just going to show him fighting with the sprites? So I'm going to keep him. Okay. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon and make it easier to catch. You scrat. Okay, so that's kind of cool. It's not like going to go into a full-blown battle. It's just kind of just going through the motions. All right. Pokeball, go! That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. He got a Chin Monk. That's how it's done. Now, Chin Monk are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with a status effect or use a special Pokeball. But I'm sure you get the hang of it before too long. Ash Theo, these are for you. Got a Pokedex. Okay. That's kind of necessary. That Pokedex is an encyclopedia that only loves itself whenever you encounter a catch Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon. I suddenly became an auctioneer. <laughs> He's like, I'll be 585 and if it's standing with six, uh, six, seven, and an eight. I can't, I can't speak that fast. Honestly, it's really impressive how auctioneers are able to speak that fast. It's very important for my research, so make sure to... Yo, I just realized if an auctioneer has a sore throat, they're screwed. <laughs> like, you you can't work if your voice isn't up to par. Which I guess, I guess that kind of applies to YouTube too, because like, if you can't commentate, then you can't record, which is basically how I was for the past four days. Anyways, make sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Got Pokeballs! Woo! Also, do you guys like how the controller, the glow matches my shirt? I don't know, I just thought it was freaking beautiful. We got this blue and green theme going on here. Freaking, oh, oh, totally unplanned, by the way. So, got some Pokeballs. The Nuzlocke has officially begun. I just realized, okay, Nuzlocke has started. So, in case you guys don't know, the Nuzlocke rules don't technically start until you get Pokeballs. Now that we have Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke rules are in full effect. Basically, what this means is we have to catch the first Pokemon in each route. Pokemon dies is considered dead. That, that's kind of it. Also, we have to nickname all of our Pokemon. Uh, but I'm sure you guys already knew that. If you run out, you can pick up some more Pokemon. Pokemon Town doesn't have one of those. So that's unfortunate. There's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. Route 01. So, with that said, your lesson is now over. Oh, but you two have Pokepods, don't you? Heal me and put my number. Oh, no. <laughs> Bambi, I don't want you in my Pokepod. The only person I want to call is the champ of this region. You can give me a call anytime, and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have some special rewards for you. Oh, with that said, I'm going back to my lab. Let's look at okay. So I know I'm kind of rushing through this, uh, mainly because I really want to get into the actual, you know, action here. Um, but all things considered, this intro sequence with this game is actually not even that bad. I think that's really it. And now we're just going into the world. Ashley, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still going to be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and will win every battle. Well, you did lose to me. You just wait and see. Now, if he got mad 
because he lost that one battle, that one first battle. Whew. I can't wait to see his reactions down the line after he like thinks he's capable. Anyways, uh, first encounter, route one. Let me go ahead and write this down real quick because you know, I like to do that just to keep track of our encounters and stuff. All right, route one, first encounter. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Actually, should we like go into the into this forest? Is this, is this even route one or is this m m monkey mon monkey town? What is this? <laughs> Not monkey, obviously. Monkey town. Okay, is this this is still technically monkey town, right? Right? Yeah, this isn't route one. This is monkey town. Cool. Okay. Oh, we got a chin monk. Honestly, can't say I didn't expect it. But yo, yo, I'm down. I'm down. I'll, I'll take a, chi a chin monk. Why is the text cut off? That's so weird. I'm sorry about that, my dudes. I might might have to fix that for the next episode, or maybe that's just how it is. I don't know. Um, yo, so how do we how do we handle this thing? Let's go for let's go for a tackle. Oh, is that gonna kill it? That's, that shouldn't kill, right? Okay, there we go. He took it like a champ. Also, the frame rate is kind of dipping a little bit, or maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Honestly, I don't really know. Um, I might try and try and get that fixed in the next episode because it seems like it is lagging a little bit. Uh, okay, yeah, use a Pokeball. That should be actually we could have gone for one more. I don't know what I was doing. It's all right. This should catch it, right? It's just, just a chin monk. Just just a chin monk. Yo, I want to name this man Alvin. Or is that too basic? <laughs> I feel like that's the most basic Chin Monk ma Ching. I don't know why I can't pronounce this, this man's name. The length of a Chin Monk strikes determines its authority in a group. If it spots a predator, it shrieks loudly to warn the warn the what? <laughs> I just pressed A. Warn the what? Nickname. Yes, I would love to get a nickname. Except it's just gonna type F. Okay, it was funny the first time. Now not so much. Why? A few moments later. Oh, okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, so I had to disable my my controller software in order to make this work. We're gonna go ahead and name this man Alvin. Um, is a dude. It works. He looks he look kind of blue. Well, actually, Alvin Alvin's color is like red, right? By the way, I'm referencing Alvin the Chipmunk. In case you guys couldn't tell. So now I gotta go ahead and reopen this software. Enter. Now is the controller gonna work again? There we go. Okay. All right. So now we at least have a seamless transition here. I kind of wish I would have known that for a starter, but honestly. I'm not, I'm not too mad about a starter. I know some of you guys might be a little bit annoyed by that. Um, and if you guys really are upset about it, we can go ahead and give it a new name later on. But honestly, I didn't really have a name for this thing. Uh, and on top of that, you know, it just, it's kind of funny how it references like my first ever Pokemon. It just kind of gives me a little bit of nostalgia in that sense. It also, I just think it's hilarious how his name is. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Yo, get some <laughs> hype up in the chat. That's right, this is a live stream. It's not a live stream. We're gonna go and get another encounter real quick. So, Moki Town, we got a chipmunk. I'm just gonna write down chipmunk. I honestly cannot pronounce that name for the life of me, and I don't know why. Alright, route one. I'm loving, like, all these classic remixes, dude, of, like, uh, traditional Pokemon songs. It's, it's really beautiful. It really is. Th this game is just freaking beautiful. Anyways, route one. Here we- actually, before we go ahead and, uh... Check out Route 1. Ooh, look at this UI. We're gonna go ahead and, um, and peep our Pokemon real quick, not Z. We're gonna go ahead and peep our Pokemon real quick. We have Alvin, level 3. Look at this man. OT is Asteroid. You guys already know. Does not have an item. Has an adamant nature, um, which is actually, I think that might be okay. I really don't know because I don't know what type of attacker Alvin is. Uh, he has Runaway, enables a sure getaway from wild Pokemon. Yo, so I'm assuming this is obviously like the, the tr traditional rodent of the region, so like the equivalent of a Rattata or whatever. So it's probably not going to be too good. It's a normal type, so I don't know. I mean, it seems like I'm down to use it though just because it's totally new. Uh, of oh my god. Hold up. That is the coolest cry. We have the asteroid OT. The water and electric typing. I don't know why I keep mentioning the OT with the relaxed nature, which I believe is neutral. No, it's plus defense, minus speed, tackle, uh, tail with water gun. All right, and we have the static ability as well. Not bad. Not bad. I would totally take that. So our team is looking pretty, pretty clean right now. Not even gonna lie. Here we go. Route one. What are we getting? Come on. Come on. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? Burby? Oh, I remember there was an NPC who mentioned this thing in the, um, in the last episode. Yo, this thing is actually so cool. It looks like a ghost type. But then normal type moves are effective, so I guess it can't be a ghost type. 
It's definitely a flying type. Yo, this, this game is actually going to be super tough because I don't know a lot of the typings of these Pokemon. I think that's going to really screw us over. They're not going to crit. They're not going to crit. They're not going to crit. Okay, we're not getting crits. We're good. Everything is fine. <laughs> is in top condition. Uh, let's go ahead and catch this man. He he honestly looks adorable. Like, I love his fake smile. I'm assuming that's like a fake smile. I think it's based on like those birds that have like the, the fake faces. That like, they, they use like scare away predators and stuff. I'll go ahead and put a picture on the screen. Um, if I remember to, but yeah, no, that, that's kind of what it reminds me of, and I, I would not be surprised if that was what it was based on. We have the Eden Bird Pokemon. So you see, like, it has its regular beak, but then it has, like, this fake smile. That's so creepy. It defends itself by dazzling opponents by flashing its brightly colored plumage. Yeah, it reminds me of those one birds. I don't know the name, but it reminds me of those one birds. They're known for their elaborate mating dances. Ooh. Okay. Okay, yo, I will definitely give you a nickname. And, uh, oh, it's not, <gasps> it's just... It's just working now. Yes! I didn't even have to disable anything. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. What do we name this man? What do we name this man? Honestly, I kind of want to name, uh, like, some of these Pokemon after you guys in the comments section. So you guys left a ton of comments in the last episode. And, uh, we're just gonna choose somebody at random to go ahead and name this Pokemon after. And you know what? I think I found my man! I think I found my man. We have Larry the Bayonet. 69, 69. Thank you so much for leaving your comment, my man. You're an absolute legend. He says, Raptorch is literally Vinny's dad. Yo, I totally agree with that. But his, uh, his promo picture was a bayonet. And, uh, I don't know. I think Larry is just a dope name for this thing. High key. So, we're gonna name this man Larry. Larry, thank you so much for your support, man. I really do appreciate it. But, yeah, hopefully you guys are down with us doing that. Like, naming Pokemon after you guys. Um, I think that'd be super cool. I think what I'll do is, like, unless I... Basically, I'll go to the comment section if I don't already have a name for something. Uh, so, like, if something really sticks out to me, like, if a name just comes to me instantly, then I'll go with that name. But, uh, if I don't have any other ideas, which happens a lot, might I add, then I'll go ahead and name it after you guys. So, answer the question of the day, uh, throw a comment down there, and we'll get that going for future episodes. But, anyways, let's see what's going on here. I, I know we've been recording for a little bit now. Actually, I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be. I've been recording for 41 minutes, but... The episode's probably like 30-something, which is about how long I want to keep these episodes, to be honest. Is that a hidden item? That, that was just begging for a hidden item. Like, you can't even tell me these two conveniently placed trees and then a flower in between. You can't tell me that's not a hidden item. I mean, it isn't a hidden item. Yo, it's a trainer! Oh, hey, Astroid! I just got a new Pokemon, and I want to see how it fares. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Like, the people around our town know us. That's kind of cool. All right, so we're battling a trainer here. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, shoot. School Kid Tath with the battle. All right. Isn't that a gym monk? Where have I seen that before? Go. Come on, body this man. We're going to send him to the Shadow Realm. Hold up. Okay. Uh, before I send him to the Shadow Realm, do we have any potions? We do have one potion. I'm actually not going to use that yet. Because, um, I mean, we have 16 health. And if a potion heals 20, like how it usually does, uh, it kind of be a little bit overkill. So let's go fight. And we'll go, you know, we'll go for the water gun. Go ahead and just destroy this man. I know we're kind of overleveling our starter. Okay, I'm, I'm actually a little bit scared because honestly, like, I, I don't want to lose anybody this early on. Especially not my starter. I would cry. So let's go ahead and heal up. Yeah, 20 points. I'm trying to be safe here. We might have to go back and just heal because better be safe than sorry. This is a Nuzlocke after all. And I've heard from Dylan. Uh, that would have killed us. <laughs> that that's straight up what it killed us. I'm not okay with this. Yo, yo, Taft, get your chipmunk out of here. Alvin and the chipmunks canceled. Get it out of here. We don't have any more potions. And he outspeeds us. Are we sacking somebody already? <laughs> Are we actually sacking somebody? Bro, we cannot be struggling this early on. I'm not losing in episode one, I swear. I swear, dude. Oh my god. Can we live another attack? No, there's no way. Pro. <laughs> this is not okay. This is not okay. We cannot be struggling this early on. I'm actually afraid right now. <laughs> Okay, um, nine speed, nine speed, seven speed. Okay, nobody's out speeding. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, l listen, listen here. I, I know I'm like really, 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 really under a lot of pressure right now. But I think if we switch out into anybody, they're going to die. Switching to Larry, he's gone. Switching to Alvin, he's gone. And I mean, even if Alvin lives, he's going to get outsped and bodied. So like, there's no point. I think we literally just have to go for the attack. I swear, if we lose our starter this early on. Woo! Foo, oh, you legend! <laughs> you absolute legend! Bro, I was scared for my life. You have another Pokemon? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't be- He has a Burby. He has a Burby. What type are you, Burby? Hang on. Hey, Larry, you wanna- you wanna contribute here? Normal flying. Oh my god. Okay, this is a mistake. Yep. Big mistake. Big mistake. Huge- huge mistake. Wow. Wow, I'm- I'm actually, like, really upset with myself right now. Um... You think f, -f, -f, -f can one-shot? Are we gonna outspeed this man? Oh my god. I'm so scared right now. Okay. So our Burby has 7 speed at level 3. And we have 9 speed at level 6. I feel like he's going to outspeed us, maybe? <laughs> I could go into Alvin. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going into Alvin. Alvin, I'm sorry, man. I, I can't- I can't risk f, -f, -f, -f dying. And Al Alvin could probably outspeed this thing. Maybe. I don't know. Yo, take that gust. Ah! Alvin's gonna die. Alvin's gonna die. Are we second Alvin? I think we're second Alvin. <laughs> I think we're second Alvin! Alvin, kill it! Kill it, Alvin! No! Bye, Alvin. It was nice knowing you, man. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, well, Alvin outsped, which means Larry will outspeed. No, not Larry. F -f 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 will outspeed. Um, Larry might not outspeed. Actually, no, there's no way Larry will outspeed, right? We gotta go back into f, -f, -f, -f And Hobo Water Gun kills. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because, yeah, this Burby's higher level. He's gonna outspeed our Burby. I mean, unless he has, like, a minus speed nature or something crazy like that. <sighs> this is way too stressful. Please kill. <laughs> ah! Yo! 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 <laughs> We're not done yet, boy! We're not done yet! Oh my god. I thought he was gonna die. This is too stressful! No, Tath! Shut up, man! Shut up, Tath! No, no! 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 That's not okay! That's not okay! I'm under some- Oh my god. Don't- We're not- Don't- There we go! Oh my god. I have never been this stressed in my life. I, this is the most stressful episode one of my career. Bro, where where's the where's the heal? Heal 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 me granny. Heal me granny. Yes. Oh my god, the sweet release. Sweet release. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Uranium. We're going to go and wrap it up here. Um I love you dudes. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Hit that like button. Next episode will be up not tomorrow but the day after 5 p.m. Central Time. So get excited. Uh, and with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. I think we're going to have a grinding montage next episode. <laughs> Peace! Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs>